My beloved brothers and sisters, in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, welcome to another weekly meditation today, Sunday, 25th day of the month of September, 2022. We are grateful to God for witnessing the last Sunday in the month of September. It is my prayer for you and your entire household that God's mercies upon you will never come to an end. By the grace of God, in our meditation today, we shall consider the fourth and the last part of our topic for the month, Prosperity in Time of Famine. As we read from Luke chapter 5, verses 4 to 6, and I read, When he, Jesus, has stopped speaking, he said to Simon, Launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch. But Simon answered and said to him, Master, we have toiled all the night and caught nothing. Nevertheless, at your word, I will let down the net. And when he had done this, they caught a great number of fish, and their net was breaking. At the eve of the call of the four three disciples of Jesus Christ, Peter, James, and John. Peter had engaged on a fruitless venture throughout the night without any success. It was a night of unproductive business and frustration, as evident in Peter's word. Massa, we have toiled all night and caught nothing. Truly does the scripture say in John chapter 15 and verse 5, I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Beloved, when God stops into any situation, may it barren or fruitless, it causes an amazing turn around. Hallelujah. My brothers and sisters, have you been working very hard and laboring to make the two ends meet? Yet, there is nothing to show for it. This week, God will step into the situation you are going through and cause a pool of water to spring forth in the desert of your life. He who brought forth even water from the rock will make a way for you where there is no way. My brothers and sisters, what you only need is to enter into the presence of God and begin to experience prosperity, regardless of whatever is happening to the economy of Nigeria. You only need the obedience as Peter was obedient. Peter said, at your word, I will let down the net. And when he did, they caught a great number of fish, and their net was breaking. This week, as you seek the face of God, Allow him to rule the affairs of your life. He will lead you in the path that will all shine financial breakthroughs and put a smile on your face. Have a wonderful and fruitful week ahead in the name of Jesus. Amen.